Hey guys, Dirty Keto Grandma here. It's day seven of our Vlogmas series and I'm at my mother-in-law's house. She's invited us to come and see her lights and her tree and decoration and stuff inside. So let's go in. Baby, this is your mother's house, so <laughs> you do the, uh, the honors, yeah. Here we go. Housekeeping! We're here! Oh, it's always so great here, too. Look at these lights up the stairway! Oh, it looks good in here already. Look at the lights. The lights look good outside right now, too, Karen. You can actually see them. Are those lights outside new ones you just got? Oh, they're really not... Oh, look how good it looks in here with these lights, baby. With the stairway. Yeah. Happy holidays. Happy holidays uh, to you. Oh, look at this tree. It's so beautiful. I love it. Hold on. Let me put my stuff down here. I like how you have all the other lights off in here, too. It makes it feel really like it's all glowy back there. You were giving Corey hell about the lights on the stairs. He's like, she's she wants it a certain way. I said, well, yeah. <laughs> Right. Baby, will you take my coat, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you got to wrap, you got to twist it a certain well, way. Right. Well, yeah, it was 2020, plus you were, you went down to Columbus last year, right? No. No, that was the year before. You didn't go because of... COVID. COVID. That's right, because of COVID last year. Let's look at this tree. And the tree skirt. You got to love that tree skirt, man. Love it. The different Santa Clauses. You got to love that, man. Yeah, I love it. Love the red and white. I think she has pictures of ours right now. It's, I just put the trees pre lit, so I just put it together. I brushed it a little bit, plugged it in, like turned it on. Tree. Really but we put like ours. You know how our living room is set up. got the long couch here and the loves <laughs> okay. over here. We hold the couch down, move the end table closer to the doorway, move our couch over towards the wall, move her stuff up, put the tree in the corner over here. Oh, so okay. it's actually in the What's living my room. With my safe light story, my truck, my lights, everything's hung in. So when my windshield cracked, the expert safe light auto glass is good, right? To I just don't have any lights for it to go around the window or anything. We'll get some lights, baby. Not this year, probably, but... Right. Your those were those. I remember those back when we lived on Oak Avenue, for God's sake. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. I don't even think this is really Christmassy, but ain't that beautiful? A carousel? Snowball? So, I got four boxes with nine foot cords. And Corey. I used to do out here because we had always put the fabric. <laughs> you double them up, I like that. Well, we have to because he didn't do it the way I wanted him to do it. Love it. Love it. Now, he was arguing with me, and I got baby rolls. But I will have to get probably another two sets of clips to do this. Around the instrument, you're inside. And put the cord in here before the plastic. Because I'm not running around this building. No. Plug that in and then run out and I'll call it. Is your jack in the back of the truck? Yeah. Does Corey have one in the back of his car? Yeah. But I don't have a handle for mine because that's the new one that you had in the other vehicle. And remember? Just yeah, it's gone. I could have swore like it was in the back of that damn truck. No, because I went back up there and I went through, I asked him, and I go through it, and I went through the 
whole vehicle and I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. Yeah. So I don't know if I can get just a handle. You might know, you got, those are pre-made, those are made. Well, I know if I put the jack, my jack in it, yeah. you can jack it up because, uh, <coughs> what's his face, Randy over here. Borrowed you just it. can't turn that little I, thing, there, unless we have a pair of grips or some vice grips yeah, or something. Yeah, something yeah. I'm just going to Yo, Corey. Oh, I was just going to say, ask if Corey was hey. here. He was, Come here. The, he was getting a shower so the when um, DoorDash starts up, he can dash out of here. DoorDash. Love it. Is he making decent money doing it, Karen? Or he's, Is he not getting out and doing it as much as he should? It hasn't been that big. That's what I told him when he said something about starting to do it. I said, hey, here in Maslin, now Chelsea makes money out here in Maslin doing the DoorDash. But, um, yeah, he may have to go to areas like Canton, like Canton out by us. He might get more. It probably pulls him, yeah, it probably pulls him out there too, I bet. He doesn't mind going to Canton, but he doesn't But if he would go, if he'd be, yeah, but if he'd be willing to drive up in those areas. Yeah. Some guy just walked on your front back porch. Yeah, if he's willing to drive to better areas for sure. So hey, while I'm here, because I'm doing this holiday video, did you guys do anything when you were a kid that was like, I don't know, what do you remember as a kid, being a kid for Christmas? Like, as a kid, I remember the decorations, the trees and all stuff. Your mom was big on that, no? She or yeah? All that she loved it. And she baked and did all the good stuff, like all that. No, she didn't really bake. Um, but she had the big dinners, the Christmas Eve. Ham? No. No ham. Never, never had ham. Well, you got your parents were religious, right? We're Italian. Oh, that's right. I forget you guys were Italian, so you did full on Italian. So we did like. The, the lasagna noodles oh, and the squid and the fish and spaghetti it. sauce and said you were like squid? Oh yeah, like squid. Like how was oh, the squid so made? These little squid, she oh. picked the beaks out of them. I remember her picking the beaks well, off of them uh, and then she'd do them in the spaghetti sauce. And she'd then pasta. Them, she'd fry them and then do them. Sorry, you said, you said a lasagna? A lasagna. Was yeah. that like the big main dish, the lasagna? Yeah. And then and all then the... Oh, did does she do your... The anti, anti pasta? Oh, that's her recipe that you do? Yes. Oh, that, my God. Amazing. I mean, that's the best I've ever had in my entire life, hands down. And I've had like some at a restaurant that was real, like a mom and pop, like Italian restaurant. And it was good. Nothing compares. You put that white sharp cheddar in there? No, it's provolone sharp. Oh, provolone sharp. That's what it is. It's white. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. So, like, presents. Like, when you were little, because you're my mom and dad's age. You were born in 1950, right? Right. So, like, presents that you got back then. Was it big? Like, was it... You know how people do nowadays, there's like mountains of presents no. and like, no. No. Did you got, get like four or five things one or one? with clothing and one present was a toy. A toy. Okay. That was it. And I remember Christmas Eve, go to bed, we get up early Christmas morning, try to sneak down the hallway. Yeah. And go out to see, you know, our presents. But there was one board in front of mom and dad's room well, you're looking for other stuff that would that squeak. And mom would scream, get back into bed. And there was like, there was like four of you, right? Yeah, there was my brother and my two sisters. Okay. The three of us girls were in one room and my brother was in another. Of course, my brother and I slept with each other until... Oh, gee. What if I failed? I think uh, I was most certainly going to out of grade school. Right. And then I moved in with my sisters, and it looked like a barracks because we had the three beds in a row. Right. And then the one dresser that Dad made along the one wall. That's crazy, because I'd sneak in and sleep with my brother, too. Now, do you remember, like, when... Because I don't remember... Well, I kind of remember, like, when you stopped believing in Santa Claus. Did your brother or someone, like, ruin it for you and tell you, or do you even remember... I really what? don't remember. I really do not remember. I don't either. I kind of remember being at a mall or something, and I think my brother was like, 
I don't know, making fun of me about like going to sit on Santa's lap. And I was like, our big thing was, that, I believe it was Thanksgiving. Mom and dad, you know, mom would have the dinner. The whole family would go downtown Akron and look in like the old O'Neill's and all Ooh, those old stores that were the storefronts. Decorated. Yes, they Carter don't do Bay that anymore. Fantastic storefronts yes oh, yes it was gorgeous and you we were little love. like you're talking like what you were like eight I'm nine ten that. little little kid in grade school. are you doing the christmas stuff this year at your church the bells and i did that you didn't do that last year because of covid are they COVID, doing it no we're not doing the candlelight walk but this year oh, um, i was hoping you were because i'm like i'll doing, do a video okay, what we're doing is um the 12th Sunday the 12th. Okay. We're having at uh, 4 o'clock a spaghetti dinner. They're going to have a hymn sing before. But okay. We're spaghetti dinner. Then afterwards, we're coming upstairs in the sanctuary and the choir. And I don't remember she said the bells. And then anybody that wants a duet or, you know, like Sandy playing a flute or somebody playing the piano or whatever. Right. And then we're going to have that music right. afterwards. And that starts at 5 o'clock. Okay. So if you're interested. Yeah, I want to come hear you guys and stuff. I remember when we first moved up here, we came and you played the bells. And I was like, that was amazing. You guys doing those bells. I was very impressed with that. I love the church there. Do you think they would care if I did a video there? Like, I don't have to put the name of the church, the address, or nothing like that. I'm not trying to put it out there, but I'd love to come do that. No, but and I then you, you remember that you, year? I'm sure you, you did remember. That you first you know, Methodist church. Yeah. That would help us. I was going to say that and might. Then, and and I try to stay pretty, like, I don't, try not to, like, cuss or do anything on my videos, but... You remember, I'm sure you remember, they had a lot, they had live animals out there that one year on the nativity yes, scene. Yes, they did. They had people and I live mean, animals. I mean, I was so impressed year. with that. They had like a camel out there. They had some sheep and they had this whole nativity scene. Yeah, because that was great. With the shepherds and like the men and women yeah. and they had the... Joseph and Mary, they had the whole thing. Yeah. And I'm not, and you know me, I'm not even really super religious. Like, my mom grew up super Catholic and Italian. Super, like, she went to Catholic school till she was 15 and moved back here. Her parents, she told me, because I, she's like this, she would be the same age as you. And she would tell me stories of, like, being a kid, going to the storefronts. Now, her mom died when she was real little, but she was born in 1950, and she moved back here and went to, she went to Catholic school, but then when she became middle school, she went to pri uh, public school. Her dad passed away when she was 15, and it was, so that was what, 1965, and she went to public school, met my dad in middle school, and they became like middle school sweethearts. But she would tell me the same stories about like being little when her mom was still alive and they would go to the storefronts. And I was just kidding when you just said that right now. I'm like, that's great. That used to be a big thing with us kids to look forward to going down there in front of the whole team. Do you remember like sitting on Santa Claus's lap and stuff as a kid? Because I cried, like, I was so. I loved Santa and I wanted to see him every year, but then when I got there, it was like. He's big, and he was scary, and I'd cry. I can't really. I'm sure that Mom did. I'm sure that we right. saw Santa Claus, you know, when he sat on his lap. But it's so, so long ago that I cannot. But you have memories of, like, open presents on Christmas morning and stuff, but just not, like, sitting on Santa's lap. Right. Okay. Well, Karen, I really appreciate you letting me do this video in your house and looking at all your Christmas stuff. I really do. And you said this is December 12th at the church? Yes. The 12th. I think we're going to come down. Yeah, that's next Sunday. Or no, not next Sunday. No, it is next Sunday because today's... Okay. All right. So we'll go check that out. Thanks again for checking out this video, guys. I appreciate you taking the time. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. And we'll see you again on day eight of our vlogmas. Thanks again.